Hey y'all, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. I have a new product. This is not an airgun, but you need it if you're gonna run PCPs. Let's check it out. Really quick, I wanna say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. www.gatewaytoairguns.org. So this is the Smako portable compressor from Smako. It's www.smakodive.com if you guys wanna go check them out. This is, like I said, portable. It, you can use it in your home in a 110 volt outlet. Well, you don't need conventional electricity to run it. You can run it off your car battery. So take it out to the shooting range. As long as you have your car, you're good to go. Now, it, this is. let's go over some of the features before we fill the JTS Aracuda Max from zero, absolute zero, empty to full. Um, so it has, um, Here's the air hose. This is the oil and water filter, and this is oilless and waterless, guys. Yes, no oil coolant, no water coolant. So no changing the oil nor checking it, and no making sure your water is, an, is at an appropriate level. But why does it need a filter if it's oilless and waterless? Well, it's pulling air out of the air, and the air <laughs> has oil and water in it. So this is meant to filter that out so it does not go into your gun. And then of course it comes with a dead head and it has the standard um, fill, foster fill port, foster fitting. Let me talk right, geez. We also have on the front, there's the bleed valve. Never, ever, ever start your compressor under load. Make sure your bleed valve is open and let it run for about a minute with it open and get things moving. Um, you have your start, your stop, and this right here is your power button. Um, if you're gonna be running it off of a car battery, you wanna turn it on on the DC 12 volt. If you're gonna be running it at your house, at a regular outlet, you turn it on to the AC. Now, of course, no converter here. You're just gonna plug your power cord directly into the machine. Then we have the pressure gauge, which is easy to read, and it has the automatic shutoff, so you set it to your desired fill, no more than 4,500 PSI. Um, in this case today, we're going to be doing 3,000 PSI um, to fill the JTS Aracuda Max. And we're going to see if the automatic shutoff works. We're going to see how long it takes it to fill and go from there. But it comes with different little tools and replacement parts. And of course, the user's manual. So don't forget to check that out before getting started. I did. Okay, so the gun I'm going to be filling is going to be fill, is a max fill of 3,000 psi. So I'm going to adjust the max fill pressure to 3,000 psi. Okay, so first you're going to plug your electrical cord into the wall, or you're going to use the cables for a car battery, whichever you desire. You're going to hear a fan turn on as soon as you plug it in. That's going to help cool it. Now it's time to attach the hose to the fill port on the gun. If you're going to be running it at your house at a regular outlet, you turn it on to the AC. And make sure your bleed valve is open. And then you're going to hit start. Let that run for about a minute to get things working before you close the bleed valve. After it's run for a minute, go ahead and close the bleed valve and the gun will start filling. A couple things guys, when you're running this, I wouldn't run it any more than 15 minutes. It says no longer than 30, but just like I do my other compressor, I don't run it any longer than 15 minutes, let it cool for five run it again for 15, let it cool for five. The better you take care of your machine, the better it'll take care of you. Another thing, don't leave the compressor. You need to stay close, keep an eye on it, just in case the automatic shutoff doesn't work. It could get ugly. So once the compressor shuts off, you're gonna bleed the air from here before you disconnect the hose from the fill port. Mm -hmm. 
leave the fan running for two to four minutes before you cut it off. Once the fans run for two to four minutes to cool the machine down, then you can cut it off and then you can pl unplug it. Guys, less than six minutes. I'll put the actual time on the screen so you guys can see it, but that was pretty fast and efficient. So what do I think so far about this Mako? The fact that it's oilless and waterless is a huge pro. Are there any cons? Um, not really, not yet. I mean, I would definitely need to use it for a while to get to know it more and see how it works. But I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that was fast, efficient, super simple. If you guys are interested in checking out this compressor, go to www.smakodive.com www.smakodive.com. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Attach the hose to the airport. Airport. <laughs>